Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. Going to take a look at the One Touch Ultra 2 blood glucose monitor. Uh, in the kit I purchased contained the meter, the Lancet device, the One Touch Delica Plus Lancet device, 10 lances to get you started, the carrying case, as well as the instruction guide. Uh, in addition, you will need to purchase the One Touch Ultra test strips to go with the meter to perform your blood glucose test. And then eventually you'll need replacement lancets as well. So to get started, you'll want to get your meter set up. And to do that, you just hold down the OK button and the meter will power on. Uh, first option is to choose your preferred language. You can use the up and down arrows to get to your desired language and then press the OK button. Next, it's going to ask your preferred date format, whether you want month, day, year, or day, month, year. Make your selection, press OK. And then we're on to setting the date. If you need to adjust it, again, your arrow buttons. Pressing the OK will take you to the next field. So we're on to the date and the year. Again, adjust as needed. Hit OK. Next, uh, you can choose if you want AM and PM or if you'd prefer 24-hour time. Again, the up and down will help you select that and then press OK. Then you can select your time to your local time, adjusting the hour, minutes, and then you can adjust AM and PM. Hit OK. And then you can review what you input to make sure everything is correct, your language, date, time, and if the settings are okay, you can press the OK button. To turn off the meter, you can arrow down to the meter off and press OK. Also, you could just hold down the OK button and power off the meter, or the meter will power off on its own after about two minutes of inactivity. Then we'll set up the OneTouch Delica Plus Lancet device. This, of course, is what you use to produce the drop of blood used for the test. On the back is a wheel that you can turn to adjust the depth. I generally start around four and adjust from there if needed. The top, when you pull that back, that loads the spring, which propels the lancet forward to poke your finger when you press the button there. The top is removed by just twisting slightly, and there will expose, that's where the lancet goes. Lancets are one-time use. They are uh, there are 10 included in this kit, so you will need to buy additional ones for future testing. I'll include a link to those in the video description. But you just push that in until it's all the way seated, and then you twist off the top, exposing the lancet. We want to keep that top. The cap you can either just push straight back on, or if you want to, you can push it, put it on slightly askew and turn it straight like we did. And then make sure the spring is charged and that is ready for our glucose test. Then we'll need some test strips. Those are sold separately from the kit, the One Touch Ultra test strips. You retrieve the test strip. Of course, we wash our hands thoroughly with warm, soapy water and dry them before we do this part. Retrieve one test strip. Seal that vial back up. And then we need to put the test into the meter, the test strip into the meter until it all, goes all the way in. The meter will power on and then it says to check the code on your vial to make sure that matches and it did, 25. And then it's ready for our drop of blood. So we have our prepared lancet device. Our hand is uh, washed and dried. I like to do the side of the finger. Gently. Massage the finger if you need to. And then you just touch the test strip to that drop of blood. And it's drawn inside the test strip. And there's our reading, 113. So we can remove that test strip and dispose of it. Now we want to remove our lancet from the lancet device. And we twist off that top and we just Jab that lancet into the piece of plastic we removed. And then all we have to do is slide this forward and that will eject the lancet. So that is a basic overview of the OneTouch Ultra 2, how to set up and use that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.